some people would say heroes. Charlie Duke here is with me. He was on Apollo 16, but you were also on Gemini. No, I was just a sick Apollo. <laughs> I'm giving you a hard time. You went, you went got, up on I Skylab. Got, uh, no, I didn't even go up on Skylab. I was just... You've been to Mars? Uh, no, I'd love to go to Mars. I went to the moon once on Apollo 16 with John Young and yep. worked on five of the different Apollo missions, but I only got to fly once. So. Right. Now, you were working on the ground, though. You were doing some work. In I the... was in mission control on Apollo 11, the, right. uh, the Capcom. was talking to Neil when Buzz when they landed on the moon, which is a real thrill. Very yeah. tense time, and during the mission, yeah. we were running out of gas, and... Uh, well, we got them down. Then I was with Cernan and them on uh, in mission control on Apollo 10, and backed up on 13 and and uh, 17. Flew on 16. Yeah. Absolutely. Now yeah. I'm I'm just joshing about which missions you're. Oh, that's all right. But the one thing people may have heard your voice. They may not remember your name, but they've heard your voice because when Neil Armstrong landed, do you remember what you said? I do. Yeah, that was indelibly ingrained in my mind. Uh, after a few seconds after they touched down. Uh, Neil said, uh, Houston, Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. And I responded with, uh, with such excitement I couldn't even pronounce twain, uh, I said Tranquility. I, uh, no, and now I corrected myself, said, Roger Tranquility, we copy you on the ground, you got a bunch of guys about to turn blue, we're breathing again. Absolutely. Yeah. So you are part of that special event, yeah, all really, of history. It really was special. Right. Yeah. What's, what's your favorite memory from being on there? Uh, I think one of the favorites is the landing, you know, being mm -hmm. a pilot, a right. fighter pilot, test pilot before I came astronaut, you know, you know, make good landings is always nice. And so John and I were coming into an area that was real rough, and so right. uh, we were able to get it, set it down. So the dynamics of the landing was very exciting. And another memory I have was we, on the second day, we drove our car up the side of a little place called Stone Mountain, it's about mm -hmm. four miles away from our land spot. And we were able to turn around and look out across this magnificent valley of the Cayley Plains, and it was uh, just breathtaking. Right. Yeah. So that that memory is really vivid. Absolutely. Yeah. What's your favorite story after you came back? Experiences from being back and just experiencing the, you know, all the kind of folks who want to come up here and shake your hand and meet you. Do you have any favorite experiences based on that? Uh, well, there are quite a few, yeah, uh, after we got back. Uh, you know, astronauts are very rarely recognized as celebrities. You know, we did a lot uh, for the country, but we, when we were on TV, we were always in spacesuits, you know, right. so nobody ever recognized you. But the other day, uh, I had a very wonderful experience. This guy stopped me in the, in the Crown Club at Atlanta Airport, and he says, Are you Charlie Duke? <laughs> Says, yes, I am Charlie Duke. <laughs> he said, well, you're one of my heroes. And I said, well, you're the first guy in 37 years that's recognized me. <laughs> well, good for him. Yeah, so, you know, little events like that come up. And uh, yeah. we stay very active. My wife and I travel all over and, yeah. Um, yeah. and speak and uh, share our experiences. And so it's really a wonderful, uh, wonderful opportunity to be out here and, yeah. and uh uh, Space Fest. This is a great event, and I'm glad I was able to come. All right. Now, just on a personal note, uh, what do you think of the uh, future plans here for uh, manned exploration of space? The things that are well, NASA. Up? You know, NASA's got the, the focus right now is after shuttle retires is to uh, develop the uh, what's called the uh, Constellation program, which mm -hmm. is an uh, Orion will be sort of our, like our command module, and then they're having a lunar lander called Altair, and they're pointing back to the moon in the 2020s, but uh, it depends on the economy and the budgets and the Congress support. You know how those things go over the... Uh, and so hopefully we'll have that commitment and we'll stick with it because I think it'd be very worthwhile. Okay, very good. Appreciate it. Let me ask a question. You, 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 when you see a big harvest moon coming up over the horizon, does it, do, do you get a, a kind of a special feeling at times? Uh, yeah, big big moon comes up. Uh, the other day, We, you know, it was one of its closest approach in a long time, uh, the moon, and it, it was beautiful. We were in Texas and saw it come up, and, you know, that real feeling of... Uh, of wonder that I've been there, you know, came up and was just really exciting to see. And with my wife, I still get it romantic because it's still a beautiful place and uh, uh, to view from here.
Very good. This this little uh, coin right here is called a robin's medallion. Yeah. And uh, these were specially minted. Uh, they're only like I think on your flag like 200 some yeah. of these uh -huh. around there. Right. And oddly enough, on an auction house, I I got this from his collection here. Yeah. So it's transferred hands here. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it. I do. Yeah, yeah good. Do. Yeah, those are very special. As a matter yeah. of fact, yeah. Mm -hmm. Special mementos. Yeah. All right. Let me get a closer. Sure.